Okay, a lot of people, they ask me, you know, why am I going to spend $600 on every one of these bikes buying all these stainless bolts? So number one, if you've got a 40-year-old bike, chances are your bolts are looking like that on the inside. And what you want them to look like is nice and pretty, nice little caps, nice and shiny. You get these, one, these old ones like that, yeah, they were pretty at one time. This ain't that time. And whether you like the customer or not, um, you just go on ahead and put in new bolts every single time. Because if you don't, that customer looks at your work and they think that you're some kind of a redneck yahoo, which, yeah, okay, I might be, but uh, I don't want folks to automatically think that of me. And little things like, you know, pull all your covers off. You got bolts for the whole damn engine anyway, you gonna, you gonna have them out? Don't just pull them one at a time and replace them. No, uh-uh. You pull them all, pull your covers off, polish them up, put them back on with fresh bolts. That shit looks nice. Now, I mean, you see, this is ugly, this is ugly, this is ugly, this fucking cover is just bad. Um, I'm gonna kill this camera in a minute. But, uh, see, I ain't no shop no more. But, uh, when I was, one of the things that put me under was I will take that extra time and I will do extra nice work. Unfortunately, most people aren't willing to pay for that, so if you're doing stuff like I am right here, you kind of need to make sure that you've got a customer ahead of time and um, better in this case, this bike is me and Dennis's, so I mean, we're just building it up to where it looks good. And, you know, once uh, we go to sell it, this will sell for, uh, I think there's a lady in California that wants it at 1500 which is less than what we've got in it, but neither one of us really gives a shit. This is kind of like retirement hobby for both of us. You all already know Dennis has forgot more about Hondas than I have about Suzuki's. And a few of you out there in La La Land that have figured out who I am, well, okay, the locals all know, you know, the old guy that everybody tries to beat. Oh, man, I could have got him if I'd have just passed him in that corner. Well, I am that old guy. And that ain't likely to change, at least not as long as I'm still breathing. That or some other old guy starts doing his own machine work instead of buying bolt downs, which around here that ain't likely to happen. It's mostly lazy as Yankees. But uh, little things like putting in decent shiny bolts, that makes all the difference in the world. I mean, it makes you look better. It makes the bike an easier sell if you're selling it. And what I'll do is I'll take, like on this one, it's going to be a pain in the ass because it's still got all that old crusty shit in there from, you know, being factory and all that happy shit. Well, to get that crusty shit out, I'll run one in like this. And if I hear it squeaking, I'll reach back behind me here to this pan of diesel that we use for unsticking engines. And I'll rinse it as many times as I need to so that that dirt and crap sticks to that bolt and I can get it out of that hole without having to run a tap in there because I run taps in there. And uh, you can mess up some threads every now and then and that can get expensive. I don't like buying them helicoils. I'd rather just do it with a bolt and a little diesel fuel. It will stick to the bolt. And all you got to do is just slosh it around in your diesel fuel. You got to do it four or five times. Hey, it's worth that extra time. That's as simple as that. I mean, whether you value your customer or whether you're putting this bike on the road for yourself, um, it's worth doing. I see too many of these shops these days, you know, they skip all these steps. I ain't sure why. I think there's just something mentally wrong with them. Well, okay, I don't think it. I know it. But, uh, 
Anyway, I'm gonna kill this and start getting some bolts in here and polishing some covers and I'll kick this ship back on afterwards. Oh, wow, that takes a long one. That's another thing too, you gotta always sit here and look and make sure you get the right sizes because they don't never give you a picture with these damn bolts. They just, ah, right, here you go, here's a bolt kit for that bike. And they're usually in envelopes like this. And yeah, that's six hundred dollars worth of bolts, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little envelopes. But uh, when it's done, it's gonna look a lot better than that ugly ass shit right there. I mean, there is no question about it. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all in a minute after I got this side done and show you this side, and I'll probably get a shot of the other side too. Okay, now when you get to this part right here where you're putting the water pump on and you've got this stupid little uh, fallout readily o-ring When you go to put that sucker on nine times out of ten, it's gonna fall out on you Now my secret is that I'm a little bit ahead of the game right now I take Indian head gasket shellac and this ain't the best stuff you can buy but for what you for general utility just making stuff stick it's wonderful. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. You just brush it on just a tiny bit. All you're trying to do is make sure that when you go to put this sucker on, that O-ring ain't coming out of there so that you don't pinch it and your water pump don't leak. That's all I do. Just a little bit, just enough to hold that sucker in place. I'll let that cure for 10 or 15 minutes now. And once that's cured up, I go on ahead and slip the rest of the water pump on. I've already got the first half in there. But I figured I'd better mention that part because a lot of people do these Hondas with that stupid O-ring instead of a real gasket. And they'll pinch that O-ring and then I end up having to fix it for them. Um, when they could have took a penny's worth of Indian head and two seconds extra time and just left it sit for a minute. And that O-ring will stay in there with that Indian head gasket shellac. And if you put it on thin, like I did, you ain't got to worry about it. I mean, that is just real thin. I got a little glob on there in one spot, but, you know, that ain't going to hurt nothing. It's just going to make it seal better. Let that shit cure up and get hard before you put it on, though. Anyway, that covers that base. Now let me kill this damn camera again, and we'll uh, get back to you in a while. All right, folks, this here is just a little break we're taking, but um, it's a Kawasaki 1500 drifter. It's supposed to look like a 46 Indian, but, well, all the plastic got messed up because some drunk decided to try and run Dave over on this thing. But anyway, here's the, here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. I'm going to try and give y'all time to read all this shit. And if you can't read it, oh fucking well, you're slow. Because I'm reading them as I go along here. I think he bought some of these off of my damn website. That or whoever's selling them at the cycle shows is pulling them off my website. Well, it's just fine. That means it's more money in my pocket. Eh. Well, anyway, that gives you a little break from the monotony there. I'm going to go back to working on this damn CF700 Magna. But uh, this, that looks like a fun toy. Sounds good when he fires it up, too. Okay, now before I go and clean this, I already started and then I remembered y'all. Now you see all that crusty, rusty, nasty shit on there? You don't want that. Whether you're selling the bike, or whether you're building it for a customer, whether you're keeping it for yourself, you don't want that nasty shit. Take the extra time to polish this up while you got it off. It's that simple. It'll look better for you, it'll look better for a customer, it'll look better if you're selling the bike. It'll make it worth more because people don't want to see some ratty ass ugly shit. And I didn't have to take this off and clean it, but I'm going to because I'm replacing the bolts anyway. 
and it's worth that extra time because it makes the bike look that much better overall. Anyway, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done in a few minutes. Here we go. Okay, this is a couple hours later, and that is nice and pretty, all nice and polished up. None of that crappy Honda factory clear coat on there. I got a couple scratches in it, but I'll get those out with a Dremel later. And, uh, basically, I mean, you know, that makes the bike look nicer. You know, whether it's a customer that you like or whether it's somebody you hate, whenever you do something, you need to do it to where, hey, you know, you personally would be happy to ride the motherfucker. If you can't do that, please, for God's sakes, get out of the restoration business. Anyway, I'm going to pop this sucker on now with some fresh stainless Allen bolts, and this shit will be looking good. And then I'm going to move over to the other side and let you all see what I do there. Okay, now I ain't 100% sure, but Bruno showed up on this, and I'm pretty sure he's trying to get himself kicked out of the Hells Angels. This is a, uh, what did you say this was? It's a Daytona... Something. Extreme. Newport four-stroke. Okay. Got to be some Chinese-ass shit. Foot rug. Hell. Man, you're going to get kicked out to Hell's Angels for sure they catch you on this. <laughs> well, now, he's got the matching pants there, too. You see that? And the clown shoes. Don't forget them clown shoes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, there's another toy for y'all. All right, this has come a lot further. It's so dark 30, and I've only gotten done with one side of the bike. But uh, this is the difference between being able to tell you've been in it and not. I mean, you can see there's dirty handprints all over that motor, but I, I've been in it quite a few times. Um, but for somebody looking at it to buy it or something like that, or um just to have it sitting out in the driveway i mean it just looks so much better you replace all these little bolts now i got this cover here but i've still got it with uh mother's mag and aluminum polish on and i'm letting that harden up a bit overnight and i'm gonna wipe it off and buff it i've got a few man that shit is nice and bright look at that i got a few scratches in there but i'll take them out with a buffer later i got the edges real good um and you know, I mean, you'd never know. I've rebuilt this water pump. Um, if I'd have left them old bolts, bolts in there, them nasty things, I mean, yeah, that's some gross shit right there. Yeah, I mean, better illustration. There's the other side of the bike that I haven't done. Now, it's worth taking this extra time. I mean, whether you're riding it yourself, you just got that pride in knowing, hey, you, you know, you did it right. Um, if you're in a shop environment, yeah, you know, okay, customer ain't always willing to pay for that, but I'm not in a, in a shop environment. I'm a retired old fucker messing around with motorcycles and having a good goddamn time of it. So, uh, anyway, that's how you do one side of a motorcycle right and yeah it took all day and it's oh dark 30 outside in fact it's well past oh dark 30 but uh this is up looks good i still got to take the carbs off i still got to take the valve covers off and clean them and the uh tank i'm not worried about i've got a protective coating of carnauba wax on there that i just lightly buffed off and left some of it on there um, so the little things like uh, today, I flushed out the um, clutch master cylinder because I just put the clutch seal in. Um, and yeah, I know I'm rubbing that wax off, but I can't resist. This baby doll starting to look good. Especially compared to what she came in looking like. I mean, that was nasty. 
Yeah, yeah, I got my handprints all over the damn motor. I've had the fucking heads off. Those are brand new head gaskets in there, but until I clean that motor, you ain't gonna be able to tell I done been in there, son of a bitch. Yeah, I've got all new bolts for everything, even them little ones down in there, you name it. They're all gonna be these good stainless ones with stainless washers. Um, I don't really skimp on nothing when I do shit like this. I mean, you know, hey, there's very few days that I personally can ride, and if I get stuck holding on to the bike for six or eight months, you know damn well on the days I can ride, I like to ride something that looks fucking nice. You know, not just some okay made it run old damn thing. Um, but anyway, um, that's it for this evening. Holler at y'all later.